7-2 Clemson visiting 8-2 Georgia Tech. And Clemson, of course, has Deshaun Watson back after missing a month with a broken hand. 3-0 Tigers early, third and one. Watson keeps it himself for a first down, but watch as he goes down, he grabs the left knee. Watch again. Clearly something happens there. Watson would not return to the game, and Tigers fans know how much that could mean to this team. Cole Stout returns. Remember, he led them to wins while Watson was hurt. But right there, the INT, Jamal Golden takes it the other way. 85 yards on the pick six, a must-see moment. The Yellow Jackets miss the PAT. 6-3 Georgia Tech, and on the sideline, Deshaun Watson is distraught. Next Yellow Jackets drive, Justin Thomas. The option over to Broderick Snotty. He's loose and he's fast, 46 yards down inside the 20. That would lead to a field goal. Snotty also left the game later on after a serious leg injury. Second half, Georgia Tech's option, it's rolling. The first snap of the second half, Thomas keeps it himself. Out to midfield and he's still going. 65 yard pickup, finally runs out of steam at the 10 and then three plays later. Through the air to his favorite target in the red zone, DeAndre Smelter's seventh touchdown catch of the season. Smelter, five receptions for 77 yards in the game. 16-3 Yellow Jackets. Next Clemson possession. Stout looking down the sideline. Great play, DJ White. The leaping interception. That leads to another Yellow Jackets field goal, 19-3. So Clemson keeps it on the ground. The freshman, Wayne Gallman, last week's Rookie of the Week. Nice cutbacks there, 34-yard pickup. A Clemson field goal makes it 19 to six. Clemson again driving at midfield. Oh, Stout, another mistake. Chris Milton picks that one off. He heads down the sideline. 62 yards for the score. Stout, three of 11 in the game, three interceptions. Two of those went for pick sixes. That was the end of his day. Nick Schusler takes over, but he encounters that Georgia Tech defense right away. Paul Davis, Quayshawn Neely bring the pressure. Just a long day for the Tigers. 28-6, Georgia Tech wins. Those six points, the fewest a Dabo Sweeney team has ever scored. Georgia Tech now 9-2 and 6-2 and and in the ACC. They have a week off before taking on UGA. I'm Jeff Michelle. You're watching the ACC Digital Network, brought to you by Ruby Tuesday. We are the official home of ACC football. For must-see moments, click the box on the left. For game highlights, click the box on the right. And for everything else from the ACC Digital Network, subscribe now. Do it!